Hey, pilots! Welcome to another exciting episode of War Robots Domination! A series of helpful gameplay tutorials designed to help highlight the tactics and strategies that I use to help tip the scales in my favorite game, War Robots. Each episode will feature a handful of battles along with helpful commentary that will provide insight as to what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm your host, Gotcha Beacons, and I've been playing this awesome game for a few years now and I've learned a few tricks along the way that I'd love to share with y'all. You'll notice that although my hangar is fairly basic and at lower levels, I have been able to climb it up to Expert League, so I believe that you'll find my tactics will help you do more with less, which can be very helpful with today's economy in the game. I should also mention that this is my second account, so don't let my career profile stats fool you. This is actually my baby account, but it sends a great message to pilots who feel they need to chase the current meta in order to be competitive in battle, because you don't. Wise gameplay can usually overcome any fancy gimmick. A death button is a great example. It can still melt just about any build, and its heritage stems all the way back to near the beginning of the game. It's all about knowing when to use it and how to use it. So, without further ado, I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episodes while I walk you through my gameplay tactics and share with you my mindset in battle. I hope you find it entertaining, helpful, and fun to watch. I think you will. I'm going to call this battle Proving Ground, and you'll definitely see why as we go along here, guys. Enjoy my friends in the background and status as they play their awesome song, Wood. It's got a great tempo to it. All right, guys, so this is a castle, and I put in the uh, open map, or the closed map deck in here. These are more nimble, quicker, knife fighter type builds. Now, I just qualified and um, you know went into masters you know these are still level six bots with level nine weapons um, some of them are a little more meta <laughs> if you want to call it that um, but most of them are fairly old school just durable wise builds uh, nothing too fancy um, and again level six bots level nine weapons i made it all the way into masters qualified and uh, got my master badge i've been here before but you know as uh, as every time they come up with a release then the uh, battlefield gets a lot harder to uh, deal with and sometimes they get knocked back down with these guys but um, I made it back up into Masters. Well, guess what? Staying in Masters isn't easy <laughs> and you get put through this uh, proving ground but you know what I do guys this is my whole purpose behind these tutorial lessons and these you know these tactical lessons because tactics make all the difference in the world and you know whether or not you're going to be able to make it into mass into higher leagues and then stay there I don't like to climb because I don't want to be put where I don't belong you don't all belong in, in champions but when you are in masters guess what <laughs> Matchmaking, <laughs> they're gonna give you the proving ground because guess what? Nearly every single one of these guys is champions. That's right. Even though I'm only in masters, the, ch the, the matchmaking wants to put me in with champions. So not only did I have to go, go through a lot of champions just to get here, now I gotta still face champions when you first get into a league. Guess what? You're gonna get put through the proving ground to prove that you belong there. I don't think I belong here, and I don't think it's gonna take long before I get bashed back down into the experts where I probably do belong. But for now, I gotta go through the proving ground. So, this is my meta bot right here. This is my Nightingale. Now, I didn't buy it. I won it through a, um, a nice little, they did a survey, you answered a questionnaire, and you get to pick the uh, build that you wanted. And I thought, you know, the Nightingale is perfect for me. It's not a really OP thing, but it's really kind of fun. And then I missed my landing here. That guy actually pushed me out of my flight pattern. What a great idea. So this is Diablo. He is my little uh, Loki here. And right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him where I think I ought to go. Again, this still is a game about tactics, no matter what. Um, league you're in. So I'm taking my little Loki over here because he is going to be a distracto bot. I see all my uh, the, the enemies, all the reds, none of them have the QR and none of them can take me out. So I'm going to come over here. Now look what I'm doing. Look at count the heads. One, two, three reds up here looking at me funny, trying to take me out. A fourth red coming over. Probably not. Now he's going to come up here. So I've got a bunch of reds coming up here. This is part, and I got it blue before they got up here. Now they're pushing me out, but you know what I just did, right? I grabbed a bunch of reds over here, and when they're here, guess what? They're not down taking my mace, so now I'm gonna try to depart the area. Didn't quite make it out of there, but the damage was done. That allowed my mates to get a positional advantage around the team, 
around the rest of the battlefield and allowed our guys to get moved in and definitely um, sealed the deal there on that victory. So that was a, a really good play about by Diablo and tactics again made all the difference there guys and that's what i teach you guys tactics i'm not going to be the big uh, the big burn burner there because look at all these guys whole a champion after champion after champion on both sides you know definitely they're going to do all the heavy lifting but make sure that you understand how the tactics work when you're in here so when you get put through your proving ground you can show them that you belong there well at least as much as possible great pilots on both sides if you see your name thanks for the game peace out I'm going to call this one, keep them busy, and I'll explain why as we go along here, guys. Enjoy my friends in the background and status as they play their awesome song, Theta. All right, guys, this is uh, Canyon. I put the open map deck in here. This is uh, Major Pain, my beautiful Zeus Fury here. Hey, just recently I made it up into Masters with this um, deck, uh, with this hangar, and I can't believe it. With level 6 bots and level 9 weapons, uh, you know, with the, at, right after the merge, it seemed like the winning happened a little easier, um, and also they changed how honor points work. So sometimes wise gameplay when you you know you're playing above your head and you're doing well and everything else sometimes you'll get more honor points and um, that put me up into a uh, master so great so now you're gonna ask me well GP what are you gonna do you're up against champions and masters I mean guys with much higher power firepower this is what I face all the time how am I gonna how do you do this well first off don't expect to carry your team <laughs> When you're in with Masters and the Champions, I think a lot of these guys are Champions, I'm not going to carry the team, you know, but what am I going to do? You know, and how can you even fight? Well, maybe you don't really fight too much. You know, don't try to carry the team. Don't expect to go out there and take on these other Champions because they're a bunch of monsters. But, you know, they got much higher firepower, probably our Mark II stuff. You know, they probably have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, really good modules on there. So the tactic is three and hold on, on, on domination, as I told you that. And I'm not going to be able to carry the team or do a lot of damage. But what I can do is I can keep them busy. You know, keeping them busy, keeping the Reds busy does help your team. As long as you're not, you know, running up and dying, running up and dying, running up and dying. You can't cap or kill when you're dead, and you can't keep them busy. Remember, the Reds, they're just shooting at targets. You're just one more target on the field, right? You know, you might not be the strongest target. You might not provide, propose a lot of threat to them, but they don't know that. They don't know what I am. They don't know my levels. They assume that if I'm up against them and they're in champions, they probably think I'm a champion with really heavy duty bots. So they're worried about me and I'm, you know, I'm obviously giving them something else to think about. So all I'm doing is I'm just trying to keep them busy. And this is what you want to do, guys. When you are in over your head, when you are fighting against, you know, uh, teams that, or, or champions or, you know, uh, bots that are much higher than you. And you're like, I can't beat that guy. Well, I'm not trying to beat any one of these guys. All I'm trying to do is keep them busy because I also have to assume that the people I'm in with, the mates that are on my team, well, they're probably champions also. And all they need is for me to stay alive and at least be a target for these threats to shoot at. You know, and, and you know, and use some good tactics, get some good angles, you know, uh, always be going for the beacons like I have been, and, and make sure that at least I am doing something to help support the cause, support the team, and keep those reds busy. Because while they're busy shooting at me, obviously it allows my team to go do some things too. Look at that nice four to one beacon advantage we got here, and I didn't carry the team, I didn't do nothing. But I stayed alive, and I kept those reds busy, and it was just enough to help my team do what they needed to do, because there's not just me out there. And look at that, they're able to check out uh, some great uh, damage and some great beacon count by that guy in uh, the third slot there. And, you know, he kept them blue. And all I did was I did my part. You know, I stayed alive, I kept them busy, I didn't mech out, I didn't try to lead some charge or anything like that, because you don't need to do that on Beacon Rush, or just get on Domination, you're just trying to get the three and hold. Great pilots on both sides. If you see your name, thanks for the game. Peace out. <laughs> I'm going to call this battle, Ignore the Pain, and I'll explain why as you go along here, guys. Enjoy my friends in the background and status as they play their awesome song, War. Perfect for this battle. All right, guys, this is this episode's Big and Rush battle. I have made it into Masters with this little squishy level six bots hanger, and I am going to show you guys that it is all about tactics. It is all about the same thing every time. You know how I do Beacon Rush. 
fast forward. You go for the neutral beacon, which I did with Brick. Then I'm gonna hop, hop in. We're gonna try to get this one here. And if we get this one here, we're gonna have a 5 4 capper. We just gotta get this to eat. Ah! Now I gotta hop over here because this one's getting threatened. We're not gonna let this guy take it. He is so tanky, so durable. That is a um, traditionalist falcon. There's no way I can take on it, but that's okay. I'm not alone. We gotta play this game. Yeah, we got it back. Now there's some guy trying to get into the center. No, sorry. We are not gonna give it up. Yet once you get the 5 4 capper, you gotta chase him like kittens. I wanna just eject and get on over there to that beacon because it's getting threatened. I couldn't quite do it. It hadn't been in this one long enough. This is a whizbang. Whizbang's gone. Now I'm going to pop in there. I'm going to hop into anything I can put my hands on. This guy's pretty durable. I'm going to help take out some guys. Didn't even get very far. I'm going to hop in my next one. This is my third nightmare. This is my nightingale. He is going to then just basically keep those guys from being able to shoot very hard and um, allow us to maintain this one. We got a five capper. They're going to get it back because it's going to be in their home area that they're going to get back. That's okay. I'm going to hop into my next little guy. This is um, uh, this is a Diablo, my Loki. We kept that one. This guy's fast forward wins, wins every time. It doesn't matter. Ignore the pain when you're playing Beacon Rush. Always rush in. Always rush fast and hard. Even with my little squishy bots, I was able to come in there and do the exact same tactic. I run in experts. It doesn't really matter when you're up against champions. It doesn't really matter. Ignore the pain when you're playing Beacon Rush. Push right on in up against those beacons. Get that three capper. Get the four capper and then keep pressing toward their home spawn area. That containment zone worked absolutely perfect. They couldn't get out. Doesn't matter the league, guys. It works every time. Just go fast forward and ignore the pain, guys. Great pilots on both sides. Hey, if you see your name, thanks for the game. Peace out. Well, friends, that just about wraps it up for another episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and were able to take something you learned and use it in battle. I add content to my YouTube channel on a regular basis, so if you like what you see, please tap on the subscription button and then tap the bell to be notified when new episodes are released. Or just click on an old episode and maybe catch another tip that'll help you up your game. Also, Discord is a great way to connect with other amazing pilots, keep up on the latest news, and learn more ways to improve your gaming experience. Without question, one of the best Discord servers out there is War Robots Master Pilots. Managed by some of the best pilots in the game today, it features a robust list of informational, tutorial, and informative channels to cover anything and everything related to this awesome game. So definitely take a moment to click on the link in the description of this episode and check them out. Finally, my goal is to provide you all with entertaining and helpful information that will help reduce the frustration and increase the fun. So if you feel these videos are helping you, please share them with a friend, someone you think might benefit from them. Well, that's about it for today, guys. As always, keep them blue out there and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Just make sure you're having fun, because if you're not, you're doing it wrong. I love you all for your support. Play well. Peace out.